All right, I want to mention very quickly the uh, NXT show, 570,000 viewers and a point one six, And there was no real competition. And the show was down a lot. And I think some of you are well aware that uh, I may be the biggest NXT fan. But, uh, you know, Dave last night was, I don't know why, it was just down and blah. Well, the reason it's why is because sucking wind. It sucks lately. Yeah, it does. And, it's uh, been like that. And listen, I'm saying that as a big fan. I want it to be better. I mean, we literally have, and you know, as a plug, by the way. Yes. I've been I've been putting my uh, TV reviews up for subscribers. Started with Raw, and then I did NXT, and for like two days, I heard no feedback. And I'm like, God, I work my ass off on these, like. And then today on the board, like a bunch of people came out of the woodwork to say they're really enjoying them. So, uh, did they like the new font? You should read the NXT review because there are three of the worst storylines in all of professional wrestling on the same show. Okay, three, not one. Not like you used to watch and go, okay, that's the worst storyline in all of wrestling, but, you know, I enjoy the rest of the show or whatever. <laughs> we have three of the worst storylines in all of wrestling today on the same television show. So, anyway, if you want my full NXT review talking about those, it's up. But that's, that's to me, the problem. Like, I don't love the show as much as I used to. It's, it's, there's not as much good wrestling. You know, the, the storylines are three storylines that are atrocious. And, uh, yeah, fix have- it. I'd have to go back and see where it was. It feels like it's been about a year now where they kind of hit the wall, and not everything is terrible, obviously, because we've had Trick, we've had Ilya, we've had a lot of good things there, but it has felt like they have been atrophying now for quite some time, and I think we're finally seeing it in the viewership here. And I know a couple months ago when they signed the deal, you're like, ah, who cares? You know, it doesn't, you know, they, they sign the new deal, it's about what they do on CW, and that is absolutely true, but. It is amazing to watch these numbers fall in the way that they have, where now, you know, there hasn't been a number this bad since July 4th of last year, and then you look back before that, and it's been a long time since they were at 500,000, and things have been trending down now for quite some time, so I don't know what they can do to kind of turn some things around. We'll see what they do coming out of WrestleMania and how they kind of recharge things after they're done with Trick and Mello, and they're going to do what they're going to do with Braun Breaker and Mello up on the main roster and all of that stuff but you know it hasn't been good right now what i worry about though is something that i asked you about a couple of weeks ago which is going to cw could you see a lot more of these goofy bad storylines could we see a lot more lyra and tatum i doubt it has to do with you the know, network but i don't know though but we've got three on one show and they're on usa brother i uh, here's they're my just thing, bad but, but here's my thing Is it going to be better to see more acting? That's my thing is I don't know if it's going to be that much better on CW. In a way, it could be worse if they want to double and triple down on these skits and these backstage things and a lot of that stuff where that becomes a little bit more of the show than the wrestling is, if it's not already. All right, here's the notes from the Dynamite show last night. So, yes, Hangman, as we've noted countless times, he did a worked injury last week. Because he had a family situation that potentially was taking him off the pay-per-view. And he ended up getting it resolved a couple of days ago. And he will be working the pay-per-view. And so he came out, he faked an ankle injury, but then he jumped, swerved, hit him with a crutch, beat him down, and vowed that he would never let him win the title. So the three-way is still on for Sunday. And uh, we have... A very It's just weird because, like, Joe's a heel, but people love him. Swerve is a heel, but people love him. And Hangman has turned heel, but people love him. So I love the entrance, at least. That's where we are right now. Now they were chanting for Hangman when he was on his crutches. He had told Babyface promo and then, and then beat him down. We had uh, FTR and Eddie Kingston versus Danielson, Claudio, and Moxley. And Brian Danielson made Eddie Kingston pass out in the triangle. I saw people on the board last night were furious because now they think Danielson's losing Sunday, which to be fair, when I watch this, I thought the same thing. I love Eddie Kingston, but Brian Danielson needs to win a title and he needs to be a champion and he needs to beat people. And then he needs to put somebody over because all he wants to do is put people over, but it means less when you never actually win anything like win something 
and then make a star by having them beat you. That's With what I believe. Respect, Eddie Kingston didn't need to be put over by Brian Danielson in this situation. I mean, I'm sure for Eddie that it's going to be a nice thing, but the reality of the situation is, listen to Eddie come out, Eddie's over. Eddie didn't need to be bequeathed by Brian Danielson. It's already been done. We had uh, the announcement that Meat Madness will not take place. Now, the only people that they announced for Meat Madness last week were Wardlow and Hobbs and uh, who was the third guy? Oh. Uh, I forget. But anyway, the point know? is they had announced three of them last week, okay? Then they announced on this show, well, too many injuries. We're canceling it for now. We're going to do a scramble. And all three guys are in that match. So apparently there were Lance Archer. So yes. apparently there were people they hadn't announced that were going to be in the match who can't be in the match, and so they're not doing the match. Good, good. Don't do the stupid match. Warlow came out. You got a new chance with him. I know not everyone loved that promo, but that was as good of a turning of the page as you could get. Make this guy a killer. So what do you do? You put him in a match with a bunch of other dudes so people can chant meat. It's just, it, to me, there's a... You're doing the wrong thing with this dude. I'm sorry. You just do. You just are. We had uh, Nick Wayne losing Orange Cassidy. Good match. These guys could have a much better match, but it was good. Hopefully, they'll get another chance to do it again at some point. We had uh, Chris Jericho and Atlantis Jr., which really wasn't much. Atlantis Jr., I mean, he was here working American style. And if you're expecting, like, Vikingo or Hechicero or, you know, any of those guys, Mascar Dorada, you didn't get that here. He was he was all right, and I did like that Jericho puts him in the walls of Jericho. He almost gets to the ropes, but Jericho pulls him back to the middle, and his father threw in the towel for his son. I shed a tear. I love it. I did really like the finish a lot. Hey, and I like it. If nothing else, he's 53-year-old Chris Jericho. He couldn't do what Corazon de Leon did before, but at least he had the vest and the uh, the tights as well, too. You know, I miss Los Nuevos Gringos Locos. We'll never be able to get that back again, but I wish there was a way. And then at the end of the show, Sting came down from the rafters. Ric Flair ended up a babyface. Sting beat them all up, stood tall to end the show. Who's going to win? We'll discuss it after the break. Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Elber is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Like I said, for VBL, so WrestlingObserver.com. In my mind, what I envision is Sting losing to the Young Bucks, but then an incredible post-match ceremony. Luger out there. Ric Flair, obviously. Huge celebration, hugging the Young Bucks. Trying to find a way to send those fans home happy despite him losing. But I think he should win. That's my call. But I ain't making those calls. So we'll see what happens. Who do you think is winning, Mike? I want it to be Sting and Darby. In fact, I think it will be Sting and Darby. And I think we'll finally get a good use of those ratings when they decide to rate the top eight teams for who is going to take these belts after Sting and Darby lay them on the mat after that big ceremony and Sting says his final goodbye. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. 
thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, tens of thousands of hours of audio, all for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.